So it's been a few months since I've done a win reality video. So I thought I would hop on here and do an update because I have received a lot of questions on previous videos and I tried to respond to them all. And uh, so I thought I would just kind of compile a lot of them and get you the top five questions that people have asked and see if I can give you some answers in your win reality search. If you want to use this game, if you don't want to use this game. So yeah, let's jump right into it. The first question is over the bat attachment. Does it matter what bat you use? I think someone asked, can you use a wiffle ball bat or any different types of bat? And the answer is, is yes. The, the bat attachment does attach to these types of bats. Actually, so this is the bat that the game bat my son uses. It is, I believe, 15 ounces. He's a little guy. Anyways, this is his game bat. And these are the, the two different types of bats that we actually attach the bat attachment to. A lot lighter, but once you put the bat attachment on, they equal out. These are just little cheap bats that we found at Walmart that, that we are able to use in VR to help give that game time feeling. No, you know, the weight is off a little bit, but it is right there around the 15 ounces that he needs uh, compared to his game bat. Using the, his game bat with the controller, it does bring it up to pretty close to 20 ounces, which is a real heavy for him with him being young. So yeah, we just switch and we use a smaller bat for training. And that falls into my next question that I've received a lot. Where do you get the bat attachment? It's on the Win Reality website. You can purchase the bat attachment, uh, bat attachment directly there. Someone did ask, how long does it take to get the, the bat attachment? It took me, I, I believe, a little less than a week after I purchased it. And this is one thing that I absolutely suggest you getting is the bat attachment to get those live swings. Of course, you do not need the bat attachment to use the system, but it does help and kind of really makes it a little more realistic when you are able to use your game bat or use a, a smaller bat, uh, depending on where you sit in that. Another question I receive a lot is, do you need multiple subscriptions if you have multiple players? No, I believe that one subscription covers around three people. Uh, that is what we have in our household. I have two sons and then myself that likes to jump on here and there. Uh, but yeah, we have one subscription that covers um, all three of us, uh, three different profiles, and it keeps track of each each different athlete. So yes, you'd only need one subscription and you can be able to go to the dashboard, the admin, and look at all three different athletes and be able to tell, you know, pitch count, all of those different things right there in your dashboard. Another question I receive a lot is, can you adjust the pitching speed? Of course, yes, they have dozens of pitchers ranging from, I believe like 8U all the way up to professional and, and collegiate level style of pitching. I don't know the exact number of pitchers that they have, but we have faced pitchers in the mid to upper 40s. And then of course I have I've dabbled into an MLB pitcher pitching up to 100 miles an hour. So you can go in and you can adjust the type of pitcher, the, the arm angle, also left hand versus right hander that is up to you in your training what you want to see more practice at um, as far as the distance the distance ranges from a little league all the way up to the uh, allegiant and professional length level so yes you can adjust the different type of pitch speed um, you know it's it there's no dial to say i will only want to see 80 mile an hour fastballs but you can select a pitcher that does throw around 80 miles an hour and be able to hone in on the different locations if it's in inside, outside, high fastballs, low fastballs, different areas that you want to practice. For my son, we have really been really honing in on being able to recognize a ball and strike. He is young. He, this is his, um, I believe his fourth season that he is playing. Uh, he is only six years old. So we are really trying to get him used to seeing a ball and strike. And he has done a really good job because this year being his first year that he's actually seeing an alive pitcher and him being able to pick up the ball early and know if it's a ball or strike. Um, a lot of kids his age are swinging at everything. I've even seen uh, kids swing at pitches that are thrown behind them or way over their head. Uh, so really teaching that plate discipline at this early age is really key for what we're using this system for. And that actually brings me over to another question. Is this good for a six and seven year old? Uh, that is up to you as a parent, your personal uh, preference. For me, we use it just because of I'm not the best pitcher and I do not want to scare my, my kid away from the game. Again, this is up to you as a parent. If you want to six and seven, we did have a little bit of, of, of a learning curve because at five years old of, of trying to um, me set it up and then put it on him, you know, there is that, that, that learning curve. But you as a parent make that decision um, I'm not here to say yes or no. I do know that a lot of pitchers that are seen in here, the youngest I believe is 8U. 
Um, so yes, that is strictly up to you as a parent. Another question I, I have asked a lot is, a lot of people are asking, can you switch bats? Yes, one of the newer updates, you can switch bats. It's on the home menu. You can just turn around and select different types of bats. I believe that there are like six different bats for you to choose from, different colors, different styles. You are able to select that right there. So those are the top questions that I've received on Win Reality. If you have a question that I didn't get to, ask below. I will try to, to answer them as soon as I can. If I don't, I'll jump on and I will do another video uh, probably in the coming uh, months or so trying to compile all of your questions. Again, be sure to like and subscribe and uh, until next time.